Good morning everyone, it is DJ Rick Webb back at it again with another gig log. To, it's a nice early morning. Um, gotta go get the trailer hooked up. Trailer's down there. Get hooked up over here, get loaded up with the gear for the day. If you're carrying off of the last gig log, got the breakfast already delivered. Good old Chick-fil-A breakfast. Don't at me. So, in the garage today, we're doing the tubes. You might see these are white. No, both lighting does not have white tubes yet. They're still black. But me and my buddy Eric actually went through and we painted the tubes. So these are all of Eric Mazgale's tubes. They still have the basically painter's tape on them from when we painted them. And these are four of our tubes that I went ahead and painted white because we got some white stands. Now I've been mentioning also that both lighting is working on coming out with stands, but they're taking forever and I need stands. So I went ahead and bought these. These are not great, but they'll get the job done. These are basically on stage mic stands and we have these little adapters right here. I'll link everything in the description down below if you guys are interested in picking up stands for your tubes. But uh, these work and we'll show more of that today. You probably saw from from the thumbnail but today's setup is quite large we have four tubes up lights around the whole room we're using haze we got movers and we got four cold sparks and last mention before i go ahead and start time lapsing as i load up the trailer both lighting usa will be at djx in atlantic city this year that's right we're gonna have a nice 10 by 20 booth for both lighting usa at atlantic city i go to djx almost every year that it's been out except for like the covid years i'm always there but we figured why not bring a booth? Someone pitched the idea last year, why don't you get a booth for both lighting? And I was like, yeah, we'll do that next year. So we have a big booth, come see us on the trade show floor. Um, if you guys want tickets, you can actually use our promo code. I'll link it in the description down below. I don't know it off the top of my head, but it basically gets you really discounted tickets. If you wanna come see me, the team, and everyone that's gonna be at DJX, I'm gonna have my turntable booth there. We're gonna be doing some DJ sets on the thing. We're gonna have all the both lighting gear. We got a pretty sick lighting setup that we're gonna be doing. It's gonna it's gonna look awesome. I'm excited. So if you guys want to come out to DJX, it's a really fun time. There's some great education. I'm actually gonna be on a panel with Rachel, Brian S. Red, and a few others for the Vibo team. It's gonna be a good time. You guys should come check it out. Atlantic City in August. DJX. I will list all the stuff information in the description down below for di getting discount tickets. It's the time frame, all that. But it's definitely the biggest gear show on the East Coast. There's some education, and uh, I'll be there. So come check us out, Lang City DJX. Anyways, let's get loaded up. Stop number two for gear. We're picking up uh, the totems. You guys have seen the storage unit before. All the Christmas lights from that company right there, Greensboro Holiday Lights. And it's the excess overflow storage. So I got more totems here, the truss stays here, the staging decks stay here. The stuff we really don't use as much anymore, but I just literally, by coincidence, my last gig with trussing was Apex, so I brought a trussing all, all of it over here, and it's been three weeks since I needed to have the totems. But now I got back-to-back -back weekends with totems, so went ahead, picked it up, and loaded up good to go. One fun thing with owning a trailer, I gotta fix that hook broke over there, so I can't put my trussing back. Well, I can put that one up, but I can't put this one up. It came undone when I overloaded it with way too many pipe drape poles. All right, so on the road talks, and for everyone, you know, the police out there, I am looking at the road. I have sunglasses on, so I'm not looking at the camera, for se. Let me update you guys, because I love to bring you guys along on my journey. As you guys know, I've literally filled you guys in. If you haven't been following the journey, hit the subscribe button. Go check out all the previous videos, but literally, I've been documenting and filming the journey of building fusion sound and lighting and building my company down here in North Carolina since I moved from Ohio. I mean, I've been filming and documenting every week of the DJ journey since 2015 with some skip, some skipped weeks here and there, but it's been a wild and crazy journey. As you guys know, I literally just completed my first full year of full time, nothing but running my companies. Uh, and I say companies because if you didn't know, we, we just kind of talked about one of them. We have Greensboro Holiday Lights. That's the newest company that we launched. We're expanding that into Greensboro Home Services. We're about to hire our first full-time employee for that company, like on the back end, like doing sales and marketing and operations. I'm super excited for that. That's really gonna push that company to, it, it's got so much opportunity for growth. It's, it's crazy. It's repeat customer business. It's not one-off customers like we deal with in the wedding industry. On the fusion sound and lighting side, uh, cause that's predominantly what we talk about here. The business is doing 
pretty amazing. We're we're solid. We've been bringing on team members. We just hired a Google ad managing company. Uh, I would say the growth is slowing. It doesn't seem like we're growing as fast as what we were. Um, and I'm thinking that's a little bit of just like the COVID backlog demand of weddings is not there. And also economy wise, people think the economy is gonna crash. I don't personally think it will, but that's what people think right now. So like people are a little bit more penny pinching on their weddings and holding off and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. Nonetheless, it is still growing. We are doing very well. And um, because the kind of like the bookings are not as accelerated as I want. We're getting more bookings than we've ever got before, but we're not getting them at the like the 2x growth that we've had every single year since 2019. So we're actually doing a little bit more with spending some more money on marketing. So we're we upped our spend on Wedding Wire and the Knot. We upped. We paid a marketing company now to do all of our, our Google ads. And uh, we're doing some paid stuff on Instagram and Facebook. I have uh, Jordan show out, as you guys know, is our paid content director on our Instagram and Facebook. He makes all of our reels and they are freaking phenomenal. If you're not following us on Instagram, at Fusion Sound and Lighting, it's in my bio, at DJ Rick Webb, but uh, Fusion Sound and Lighting on Instagram, uh, go check out all the content, he kills it. But on the horizon for Fusion Sound and Lighting, I've talked about this in the other gig log, but we are looking to potentially start adding on more locations and somewhat of a franchising out in the next year for wedding business. And then the core business here in Greensboro, we're actually going to be pushing harder into corporate next year. We're going to invest into some screens, some projectors, uh, some sound equipment, and uh, really push into the corporate sector. And I'm really excited for that on the side of the company as well. And then my third company, Both Lighting USA, as you guys know, we actually just started doing paid ads with my good friend Dom who uh, is all about doing funny ads. You might have seen them by now, but we just started making some like funny skit ads between me and Marcellus about lighting and stuff like that. And that, that company really is just a fun journey that we're doing. We're trying to basically provide a better solution for you guys in terms of buying lights from China without having to worry about the quality issues you might have with China. That's why all of our lights come with a two year warranty. We'll fix them for you here in the States within two years. Any issues you have, batteries, whatever, we'll fix them. So basically you're guaranteed to get two years worth of life out of your Chinese based lights, AKA both lighting. And we got the tubes now, which are gonna be game changer. I'm, I'm super excited. Then lastly, um, on the horizon for a new business for me is actually gonna be uh, DJ Rick Webb coaching. So I've already started actually coaching some different DJs on the back end and it's super fun to coach these guys and push their growth even further. But I'm wanting to create kind of like a membership sort of thing for you guys. I want to have like a monthly Zoom call with all the members. Um, I'm going to go like 30 minutes deep into like a topic, whether it's SEO or marketing or email drips or follow up campaigns, like the, the really nitty gritty stuff that I don't get into on the channel because it's not a popular topic, but I know it's super important for a lot of people. Like, how do you get started? Like, how do you get your EIN number? How do you get your LLC set up? How do you build a website? And I don't know. That's just my personal journey, really, now in the DJ world is to educate. It's always really been the, the goal, but I've learned so much in building my company that I literally could start a DJ company tomorrow and get it up and running off the ground within a few months. I really want to show how that happens and educate everyone that wants to know how to do it. So if any of you guys are interested in the potential of joining a membership group like that, where we're gonna talk nitty gritty with me, leave it down in the comments section down below. I'm really trying to see what's the interest level. What would you guys be wanting to get out of a mentorship? So I want a little bit of survey data from the, from the audience watching the video. Uh, if you guys were gonna be a member of like a coaching group with me where I'm gonna mentor you guys and teach you guys subjects around business growth, how to start a DJ business, equipment-based knowledge that I've learned, how to finance stuff, how to pay for stuff, all that, how to price stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd be interested in learning about and also if you'd be down to join. So anyways, we're pulling up the Grandover right now. You guys have seen Grandover multiple times on the channel. Uh, we got an epic wedding planned for today and uh, I'll see you guys in there. And Gabe's calling me right now. Welcome to the loading docks of Grandover.
All right, so we are in the Griffin Room in Grandover, and this is my first time in this room. There's actually four different ballrooms you can be in in Grandover, and by coincidence, every single one of my weddings has been in the Grand View, which is up on the second story. This is the Griffin Room, and actually next week, I'm back here for another one in the big ballroom, and we have like 250 people coming to that, and it's a, a Lebanese kind of American wedding. It's gonna be a blast. But I preach it on the channel every single time when you guys show up to a new venue, whether you've done site inspection or not, you need to get your lay of the land because you know they place the dance floor in certain areas, they place the tables, they tell you where you need to set up in certain areas, and you gotta do the lay of the land and also understand where you're gonna put your speakers for the best optimal sound and also your lighting, your cold sparks, whatever it else is that you are doing. Today's room is incredibly long. I don't know if you can see down there. Incredibly long and we have this divider wall in the between with a see-through fireplace. That is going to basically make it so that sound does not travel back there at all. I am going to have to run a cable all the way down through here and I'm thinking I'm gonna do it on this wall. I'm not entirely sure yet because there's probably gonna be a lot of traffic from the catering staff on that side. Over here is just the golf pro shop. So I think that'll work and also the doors on this side swing out versus in. We're gonna have to run a cable all the way down through here to put another speaker right here to provide the back coverage. Also the bars back here too. And this is a good point as to why whenever I come to an event, whether I'm doing ceremony or not, I always bring an LD Systems Maui 44 or not, LD Systems Maui 5 Go. This this speaker right here. That speaker is good for a lot of different reasons. One, for cocktail. If cocktail is in a different area, so I can do music, which in this case it is. So we're gonna bring back the second Maui 5 Go when we come back. So we're gonna put one in the back for additional sound coverage, and we're gonna put one outside for cocktail. And overall, it's gonna be awesome. Secondly, we're gonna talk about our front sound. So, like I was mentioning, power. And that is PR1 number eight. So, I don't know if they're labeling the numbers, because they're all PR1, and you got number 10, number eight, but that probably means they're on a different circuit, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so this one is PK2, so that one's definitely on a different circuit. And this one is PR1 number 10. Okay, so that's another one that's PR number 10. So. We have three different circuits to work with. We should be good on power. These cold sparks pull a shitload of power. Each cold spark is three amps. So four of them, we're at 12 amps. Chemical engineer, mechanical hey, engineer. I still learn a freaking thing. <laughs> chemical engineer. Well, mechanical deals with electrical more. I'm, I mean, an electrical engineer would be the ideal, world. but. Anyways, we're gonna set the camera up and get started on setup. All right, we are all set up. The camera battery died during the setup, but quick little overview, but we're gonna go complete overview when I get back and we'll hook the mic up and go for everything. But uh, we got everything kind of positioned. We did run into some issues. These new stands that I'm testing out, which is basically like a hodgepodge. There's these adapters and I already snapped one of them. So not the best looking option for you guys so far. Four cold sparks, pretty epic. We forgot the scrims for the truss. Gotta go back and get those. Gotta get another adapter. After, thankfully I bought extras because I thought they would break. Uplights are set, ready to go. We got everything ready to go in terms of wireless DMX and the sound system is bumping. We did tape a cord down all the way around. Back to the Maui 5 go back there. We're gonna go bring back another one for cocktail hour. But yeah, we will catch you guys when we come back um, and we're gonna hook into their sound system for ceremony. Anyways, catch you guys when we get back. So yeah, this place is like Disney World. There's an underground basement labyrinth of tunnels that basically allow you to get anywhere you need to get inside of the place without being seen by the guests. Anyways, we'll be back later. All right, so if you've seen Grand Over before, we're at the ceremony location. And this is interesting today. This is the first time Grand Over actually has in the contract for all their clients that they will provide speakers and mics for the ceremony. Well, mic for the ceremony. And we've never really used it because, you know, we always do a little two lapel system and we've got a lot of questions over the years as to what it is they provide. And I'm going to be honest, we never even bothered to ask them. So recently I reached out. We're getting on a better name to name basis with the guys here or with the girls here that run uh, Grandover. So I was like, hey, what is it? And we talked about it. And for this wedding, they wanted to do venue uplighting instead of ceremony. So I said, cool, let's use theirs and see what it is. So what it is, is it's two QSC speakers. They're the HPR 122i. QSC HPR 122i. Someone in the comments explained to me what these speakers are. They look pretty old to me. Basically, we got the QSC speakers here. There's two of them. Not too fond of the layout. And this one's like right here. They're like right up on the lawn. 
uh, instead of like back away from the lawn, you know, which would have been a lot simpler. Then they set up a table here, AV rack. Then they give you a Shure ULXD microphone, Mackie board, and then they have a DI box to run in your audio from your laptop. Lapel or handheld, your choice, but your DJ has to run it. And I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the hardest places to load into. To get back here, it is almost impossible to be honest. It's it's like a trek and a half. You either gotta go all the way down around there and wheel it all the way up through or go through the central area. It's a pain to get up here. So I actually, really dig this option to use it. And what I was considering is if this was good, which I do think it is pretty good, that we could just literally bring one of our little spare mics with a lapel, plug it in and use their board. And then we don't have to haul speakers, boards, or the mic rack or a table or any of that back here. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm kind of going with this. Here's the lawn. Ceremony's gonna go down a little bit. We're gonna go trek back around the corner, see how far it is to get back to where the cocktail area is gonna be. All right, so for everyone wondering, this is how we go over introductions all the time. It works out very beneficially when cocktail is in a different space, which today it is, it's right outside. So let's see here, what paperwork do we need? This one, it's, it's damn it, it's a tail off of both here. So it's two together, I guess. Did you put them in order already? Yeah, they're all in order. We're gonna be doing parent introductions. So first I'm gonna recognize the grandparents. Then we're gonna start the music. So and then we'll go through parents. So there's just two sets of parents like always. Then we go to the, Long list of wedding party people. You got Crossfader. So that's gonna be for eight different pairs of people. It's the same song for them on their introduction. So it's just these two songs for introductions and that's it. Yeah. We'll mock through this in a second, but we'll go through all the list of names and then bring it down just a little bit as I ask everyone to get up out of their seats, make some noise, scream is out, not that low, but like, like we'll have it blaring for that and then just bring it down a little bit so I can talk. And then I'll say, Hey, help me welcome in Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and Lily Green, and then you hit that again. They want, uh, you got a feeling? What? Uh, okay. It's the same song. And then they'll do the first dance. For everyone watching the camera right now, I'm used to doing this at this point, so I literally just will rattle through these names. I put all my emotion and expression when I actually go to introduce them. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the reception this evening. We're gonna have some amazing, awesome people. Welcome to Johnny, make some noise, blah, blah, blah. This side of the room, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, we're gonna recognize the grandparents that are with us this evening. So first, let me, or help me uh, recognize Lily's grandparents that are with us this evening. We have Grandpa Fred Tyday with us, who officiated an amazing wedding this evening. Let's give it for Darlene Tyday as well. Give it up for Patricia Barchuk. And let's also give it up for John Barchuk, who's with us this evening. Then on Jonathan's side, we have Jonathan's grandma with us this evening, and that is Brenda Murrow. Let's give it up for Brenda. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get into everyone we got out in the hallway. DJ, drop that track for me real quick. Help me welcome in Lily's parents, Russell and Michelle Tyday. Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait a little bit. I'll cue that up. DJ, drop that track for me real quick. Oh no, you're hitting the purple cue. You're hitting the purple. That's, DJ, drop that track for me. All right, help me welcome in, help me welcome in Lily's parents. We have Russell and Michelle. Tie day. What? Yeah, it's always purple. For me, it's always purple on introductions. Let's also give it up. We have Jonathan's mother, Christy Green, escorted by David Green, the best man. That's our parents, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on over into our wedding party. Hit the cue, then raise the volume. Like, don't don't wait, and then hit it. Hit the cue, raise it. All right, let's give it up first. We have Rachel and Jackson, then Veronica and Joe, then Bree and Brock, then Lauren and Austin, Alicia, 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 Al Alicia? I think it's Alicia. Alicia. Alicia, I'll have to verify that. Alicia and Justin, Faith and Trace, Hope and John, and Savannah and Addison. Woohoo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to get on up. Make some noise, scream, shout, whatever it is you want to do, because we need to welcome in the mo or the people we're here. For the blah 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 blah. Give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and Lily Green. Beautiful. 
and then I'll come back there. We'll cue up their first dance song. All right, what's up guys? We're here for Jonathan and Lily Green's wedding today. Pretty awesome sign back there. We got a lot of stuff in store for you guys. If you guys saw from the setup and everything, we got up lights around the room, doing some awesome lighting. Those are all synced in. Pam behind us here, we have a heck of a package today that we're rocking. Let's start off with the movers up top. We have the both lighting MH150 spots in white. We have haze that we will be launching later tonight. Um, we got those on top of our Global Trust totems. Pretty dope. We are rocking four cold sparks tonight. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, we have the new both lighting tubes, uh, 360 tubes. Let's come in a little close real quick. These are not normally white. I went through with my boy, Eric, we painted these and then we have some white on stage stands because both lighting has been too slow to make us some stands with some adapters. I'll link all that down below, but I will say the adapters have sucked. I broke like two already. So if you do buy those adapters, buy extra. Um, sound wise tonight, LD systems, Maui 44 G2s over to the audio side of things. Oh, we got four of those tubes and we got like height staggered and stuff. Custom turntable booth as always, two rain 12s, S9 mixer, running sound switch tonight. Everything is going to be controlled by sound switch. Even the cold sparks back behind, we have the full audio rack, which is pretty much just honestly bag storage to be honest, but two audio technica, 3000 fourth chins, DBX drive rack, Yamaha mixer. So if you guys notice behind me, this room is incredibly long. So if we literally keep walking down through here, this room goes all the way to the back. It's probably literally 200 feet to the back of this room, maybe 150. My perspective might be off, but to accomplish the audio side of things so everyone can hear everything, over here on the side, we actually have a LD Systems Maui 5 Go just to use as a backfill speaker. It's on a delay, of course, as well, so that everyone can hear every word spoken. The audio sounds great throughout.
I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry. <laughs>